You know, one of the one of the really interesting things that happens at Habitat uh, over the last five or six or eight years is that um, we work a lot with the churches to work with refugee families who have come to America from all over the world and through the church have come to America and been able to succeed in their life by getting jobs and having their children in school and things like that. And then just recently they've been starting to qualify for habitat houses, wanting to live the American dream. Now, and, you know, if they came from Liberia or somewhere like that, that they never really got to own a home, now they're here. This uh, end of next month we'll be doing 10 house dedication and several of those houses are going to be uh, refugees that came from other countries. For me, um, you know, when you first start building the house and you get, you know, 20 or 30 volunteers together and you build a wall and you push that wall up the first time on that cement slab, that's amazing. The father went around and picked up everybody that worked at Habitat and lifted them right off the ground and cheered and with thanks and, and great pride that they were able, that he was able to provide for his family a new home. Uh, it was, I have goosebumps now just talking about it. Uh, the way he went around and just hugged every single person that was there, that had volunteered to work on his house and staff members and all of that, it was really, he was very, very excited. But when you cut the ribbon and the family is there and all of their friends are there, their friends from work, their friends from church, their friends in the community, maybe even relatives from the home country, and you cut that ribbon and it always happens where usually the youngest child or you know an eight-year-old, nine-year-old, ten-year-old who for the first time in their life is getting their own bedroom and they want to show it to everybody, that's strong emotion for that. I always like that part where, you know, this is going to be my room. And in his past, you know, up to that point, he may have been sharing his bedroom with three or four other siblings, you know. Because now all of a sudden he's in his own room. It's exciting.